guys. I thought I would pop in quick and show you a little project I'm going to attempt to make. Let me see if I can find myself on my page here. Let's see. Oh, there it is. All right. Um, oh, there's my keyboard too. Get that out of the way. So I know everyone's probably busy running around like chickens with their heads cut off, getting ready for Christmas on Monday. But I got some new transfers yesterday and I just got around to getting some time to play with them. Um, so this isn't it, but this is one that I had made up as a display board for my open house uh, about a week and a half ago or one of, well, yeah, anyways. Um, so I just, I don't know, I thought that was kind of fun, but that's not what we're going to do. What we are going to do is this. So I'm kind of watching my computer here and trying to see if I have placement. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. So I got this transfer and I just thought it was really cute. Um, we are living our adventure and that's always what I like to say is I'm always, um, you know, I don't know, this is one of my new adventures, Chalk Couture, but I always feel like I'm always on an adventure of some sort. So I purchased um, this 12 by 12 canvas from Target last week or the week before. Um, I got two in a packet for $14.99, so they're about $7.50 a piece. And it's just this white canvas, and then it's got little wood frame on it so pretty simple um i have not worked with canvas yet so this is going to be a new experience for me and i don't know why i'm filming it <laughs> i guess we're going to find out together if this works or not um so let's see all right the color that i chose today is called caribbean I just think it's a really pretty blue and I think it'll stand out nicely on this white. Um, if I was doing this on black, so if I was doing it on the blackboard that I just had, I probably would try it out on a white. And I'm not going to do anything special with adding any different colors, um, just because I don't know how this is going to work on the canvas. So I figured if I work fast enough and use all one color, hopefully this will turn, around, turn out like I'm thinking it will. So what I'm going to do here is our transfers come on these uh, white backings and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to peel off the transfer from the backing. And then I'm going to place this, which just happens to be the same size as my board here. So I might have to stand up so I can get this placed on here correctly and hopefully I don't get my head in the way. Um, so let's see. Bear with me while I try and line this up. Um, the other thing that I'm a little unsure about is the canvas kind of has, I think I might do that a little differently. The canvas has a little give to it too. Um, so this is the first time I'm going to be working on a surface that has, that's not, you know, like the chalkboards. Um, so I'm kind of a little nervous about that as well. See how it kind of goes down. Um, so I'm not sure about the pressure that I'm going to need. But this looks like it's about right. So make sure that that's on there and I don't have any bubbles or seams. It might not be exactly centered. I think I might have a little extra room here, but this goes down here. So I don't know. If I want to change it or not, is that going to bother me? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I've already opened this once and kind of stirred it up just to make sure it was the right consistency and it felt pretty good to me. Um, so I'm trying to think, I think I'll just use this larger squeegee, squeegee because it has a nice sturdy feel to it. Um, Oh my gosh, I'm a little nervous to do this. 
<sighs> deep breath, deep breath. Okay, I can do this, right? And if not, then you guys will uh, be witnesses to my failing at this. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there's my comments. Oh, hey, good morning, Tanya. Okay. I don't know if I can change this into a view where I can actually see comments because I didn't see this until... Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, there. I can see your comments now. Oh, thank you. Let's... Are you ready? Let's try this out here. Okay. I, I, for some reason, I'm a little nervous. So I think I'm just going to kind of make sure that I have enough on here. And I'm just going to kind of spread it on. I wonder if my consistency is not as good as it, like, almost feels a little thick. But let's get this on here. And then let's see. I think I might just go ahead and start. See, I'm not, with the canvas, I don't know, it's kind of given in the center. Make sure I'm getting all of this on. I need to use this side of it. All right. I just don't want this to start drying on me because then what happens when it dries is it'll start actually sticking to the top of the transfer and then it won't leave the chalk down on. Let's see, got a little bit up here that I missed. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. Ready? Oh, that's probably what I should have done. Hey, Wendy, I didn't see on there. <laughs> Thanks, Tanya. Oh, this is kind of cool. All right. Yeah, maybe I should have put something underneath of it to keep it, um, let's see, I don't know if I can, how do I do this without, <gasps> oh, that's really cool. Okay, I like this. I love that color, too. Ah, what do you think? How fun is that? That turned out really cute. Oh my goodness. I like that and I love the color on it. it. Didn't seem to have any issues. It all came off like it's supposed to. So yeah, isn't that cool? I'm pretty tickled with that. Huh. I like it a lot. All right. I need to get this under the water. So, yeah, isn't that cool? So, yeah, the color I used is, um, oh, no, I can't find it now. Uh, that's not it. Coastal, did I say? I'd have to look at my little sticker again because I took it, I think it was Caribbean. So, okay, hang tight. I'm going to throw this in the sink and get some water started on it so it doesn't start drying. Um, so I hope you guys can still hear me, but one of the things with these transfers is as soon as you pull it off, you need to stick it into water and clean it off. That way all the chalk just completely melts off of it and, um, and it, uh, it just keeps your transfers, uh, longer. So I'm going to throw this on here and I'm going to come over here to my bathroom quick and get some water started on this. 
to get it all off. And then I'm just going to let this sit in here and um, uh, dry. Ideally, I probably should have like a bucket, like, you know, like a, um, I might just leave that in here for a minute. I hate to leave you guys hanging all the way over there, but I also want to make sure that my transfer stays uh, good too. So it's almost done. It doesn't take too long because it just comes right off. All right, I'm almost done, and then I'll come back. I don't know, that was kind of fast. There's another one I've been wanting to try. Maybe I'll do that too while you guys are on. All right. So I'm going to set this in here, and I'm just going to set it, the non-sticky side, down onto a towel, and that's just going to dry for a minute. So, okay, I'm back. Got that all taken care of. All right, so yeah, I think that turned out really cute. I'm, I'm pretty tickled with that. Um, and like I said at the beginning, if you guys weren't here when I first started, I found these little canvases at Target. They were two pack for $14.99, so um, about $7.50 a piece. It would make a really cute gift, um, quick gift and inexpensive gift if you guys were looking for something like that. Um, not just for Christmas, but for any time of the year. Um, so, you know what? I think I'm going to set this aside and hang tight for a minute because this is the other one that I wanted to try. Um, and I got this one I got this board also from Target the same night that I went. Um, the board itself was $6.99. And it is, let me grab a measuring thing quick. It is a 9 by 12. So um, this was one of my other new... Uh, transfers that came when I ordered the other day um, so I thought it was a, um, a nice uh, scripture and sentiment um, and I was actually thinking of probably doing the same color um, but maybe doing the word Christ and strength in white so let's see, let me grab out one of my white pastes and I think I can't remember if I already have one open. Okay, I'll just use this. So this time I think I'm going to use just a partial squeegee, um, one that I cut apart so I don't have to work with the um, that bigger one. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna just peel this off. I've been wanting to sit down and play with these, um, but I haven't had time. So let's see, pull that off and I'm gonna get standing up here and try to center this. I think it'll work out. I know this looks a little crooked, but I think it'll be fine overall. All right. So I'm going to let make sure that's on there good. And I'm gonna grab a squeegee for my white as well. And I think I'm gonna try and do this all at the same time. So my words, these I'm gonna do in this uh, Caribbean. And I'm just gonna kind of glob it on first. 
see if I can work fast enough. I don't know, I might need to add a little bit of water to this one because it feels like this paste is a little bit thicker than what it should be. Um, so I'm gonna do that there and then I'm gonna try to do very carefully in here. All right, so there's that. And then I'm gonna quickly try the white and then I'll squeegee all of it off. So get this going on here. Hopefully my head's not getting in the way. I love how quick and fast these are to make. It doesn't take any time at all. And they make great gifts. Um, and the other thing that you can do with these is you can also sell your finished products too, or your finished projects. So that's something that I'm kind of considering at this point, um, if anyone would, you know, maybe at a craft fair or even just kind of posting them for sale. So hopefully I'm not getting my head in the way. All right, I am going to go ahead and squeegee all this up now. Get all my excess up. And I might actually use the other side of the larger one that I was using. There, it feels like that's coming off a little bit better. Maybe. I'm getting a little nervous about it being on here so long. Ah! Now this should just wipe off of that wood part that I got it on. Oh, yep, there's my hair. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> yeah, there's my head. Oh my gosh. All right. think that's good. Ah, I don't want it to dry. Let's see if I can work quickly to get the white off. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that white on there. Okay, this And then last but not least, we'll get this last little bit of stuff down here at the bottom. I think I'll use this little tiny squeegee for that. Yeah, I think I need to um, put a little bit more water in. Ooh. Let's see if I can get that off. All right. Let's see. Is this one going to turn out? Not too bad. Oh, that's pretty. Minus the uh, blue on the side. And then I'll just kind of take a damp rag and get that off. That's pretty. I'm not sure about the white. What do you guys think? I don't know if I like that as much. Um as if it were maybe on a black board, but I think that's still pretty. Um, I'm gonna try and get a little bit of, like a damp rag or something and wipe that off when I have a chance. Um, but 
Otherwise, I think that turned out pretty cute. Oh, probably shouldn't be touching it with my hands, huh? All right, so that's it, guys. I think that's all the playing I'm going to do on camera. Um, oh, stained wood would be beautiful with it. Yeah, I'm not so sure about just this lighter color here. Um, but I thought, you know, for $6.99, it'd be kind of fun to play with. Or if I just got, a dip, you know, if I used maybe brighter colors or darker colors on my chalk, too, that might make a difference with it. I do want to um, kind of get some unstained pieces and play around with that. And you can also take, I've seen a lot of people do, um, you know, just take pieces like this and do uh, paint, like chalk paint or even just, you know, regular um, paint over it as well. So, and you could totally change it all up. I'm just getting my chalk things put away. Um, so one thing I wanted to mention quick, and I was going to post it a little bit later, but if you guys are curious as to how this stuff works, I have put together um, some little kits that um, I was just going to send out, kind of like a little try it before you buy it. So what you'll get in this kit um, is just this little tiny mini chalkboard and then part of a stencil. So let me sit down here. So um, it would be just one of these little small chalkboards and then you would get a portion of a stencil. Um, so the one that I have just has little hearts on it. And then you would get a little mini um, thing with the white chalkology paste in it and a little squeegee. Um, and here's, see if I can do this without getting my arms in the camera. Um, so this is just a little sample of one that I did using um, one of the transfers. So, um, so if you guys are interested in trying this out, let me know. Leave a comment below. Oh, thank you, Tanya. Um, yeah, leave a comment below and um, you can PM me your address. Um, this is only available to those who are in the United States, so if you guys are following me from elsewhere, um, I'm sorry, but unfortunately I can't afford to ship it out of the country. I've checked on shipping prices and that's just not possible. But if you are within the United States where Chalk Couture is, um, I'd love to send you out a little mini sample kit so you can give this for a try for yourself. So um, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Um, so I guess I'll bring back the couple of projects that I did. Minus, I'll get something and take that off later. Um, but that's it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And uh, thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I'm going to try and pop in here again um, with another project. So I've got a ton of new transfers in, and they are all calling my name. Um, so I ordered some new canvas boards from Amazon today, which I should be getting next week. But I've got a few other things that I'm going to be playing with. Um, so thanks for hanging out with me, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.